I'm going to quickly show you how to junction onto an existing road. So we have our site access road here and we also have this existing road that we want to junction into. So I am going to use the centerline tools which I've shown in a previous video and I'm going to uh, do a new centerline and turn on the snap to vertices. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw a short section of centerline along the existing roads channel line to indicate the line to Site3D so that we can junction onto it. So I'm just going to snap to the points along there. I don't need to go too far, I just need to go as far as my junction would splay out to. Once I've gone as far as I need to, I can right click and hit finish. Now I want to level this new centerline to the existing channel line. We do that by going to the road menu, centerline extras and level to surface. Hover over the centerline and left click to select it. And now ask us, are we sure we want to do this? Because it's about to uh, remove the previous alignment and, and change it. So we're going to say OK to accept that. And now you can see the centerline has snapped to the existing ground levels here. Now to form a junction, we need to put on a channel on this line here. And we do that by going to our channels, curves and footways, selecting that centerline that we want to add it to. I'll move the, uh, the window over a little bit so it's clear what's going on. So we do not need to add anything to the left hand side because we're not redesigning the, the road itself. So I'm going to untick right as a duplicate of left and get rid of the left hand side. The right hand side, because we drew the center line on the channel, we set the channel width to zero. And we can keep our curbs and footways if we want to, but if you don't need them, we can remove those as well. Click OK to accept those and it'll automatically offer you a junction where you can do what you normally do with a junction and set the, uh, the junction radius or radii on both sides. Once you're happy with those, click Create Junction to accept those values. And that's it. It's created this junction which ties into the existing channel line automatically. And you can see in the, uh, the 3D view here how it ties into the existing ground lines here. Thank you.